Now on our journey of knowing who we are, today we are looking at the traditional religion of the Baganda people. The Baganda believed in a spirit world beyond what they could see and they divided the spiritual realm into four main parts. And at the very top, they had Katonda, that is Gulu, the Gulu that you hear about. Now at the second level, we have the Luvali. These were human beings like us who showed great prowess while still alive. And their spirits were venerated after death and expected to intervene when us do. The third level, we have the Mizimu. Like here that someone has died and their spirit has left their body, that is now Muzimu. At the fourth level, we have the Misambwa. These are very benevolent but very vicious spirits if not appeased when they need something. Now that we understand the spiritual levels at which the Baganda put the spirits, now let's go inside Tanda and find out. Now right here where I'm standing is Tanda archaeological site entrance as you can see. And this is the main shrine of Jajaburamu Walombe. Now here you do not call him the angel of death, he's actually the angel of life. I hear the ancestors calling Do you know who you are or where you come from? I hear the mama They say and yeah, know your roots Know your roots Know your roots Yeah, 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 yeah mama This is the fireplace where some offerings or medicine is burnt in a bit of chasing away bad luck. For instance, if someone drops medicine in the fire, the smoke that comes from the fire is believed to be the one that carries away the person's problems and clears the way of success for them. This is the main place where Walumbe settles. This is his shield, these are his spears, and these are his calabashes. Ngabo tutu semu nzimbe ya jidja feka baka bulamu. Bano bebana abalongo. Abo monsozi. Abana vya jidja feka baka bulamu. Obabe misambwa. Ngabo wola ba tutu se. Chirichi bocha abo. Bateka muama kula. Nga bebalonga aba unde. Abo monsozi wa msa jemkulu jidja feka baka bulamu. Eranga abana bano. Sibe bazali nga boganti na zala abana balongo. Ne mbali etamuno. Abana bano. Balo tebwa bulo tebwa. Owa abantu abawele kumi okubanti batu usibwa okubela wano mbuge eno. Ila abana bano baba jinja kalori. Kati jajja feka waka bulamu. Gano chechi bochi abana be. Abo echi ama kulage. Doza ama kulo ugalaba boja wano. Ngoze kusaba. Boi ingida wano. Tuwe ya njula kumbana bano ni mkumiziba bidi. Ngoze kusaba, katibu maidizo kusaba, mnunga wa ndozo laba, mulimwe nsimbi na matembe, mulimwe mwanyi. Ngei labo nagenti, bajaja febako zisanga nsimbi ngandu ukufa kuchi, kuru veri veri, ukufa dani da bajaja febako zisanga zino, zesente zibako lachi, zibako zisanga. Wabula zinempia zizebuchi, buzi zino, katibu vula wa okuata sente zino, Ngoze kusaba, no koloti. No kuatila kone mwanyi. No zikuata boti, ngojo kusaba no kolachi. No sabila kebibyo, hivye nsonga ziba zikolechi, zikulese. Well, food stuff is also offered to walumbe, like cassava and local banana beer. Whoever is praying kneels here and taps his head on this pole nine times. And then he asks for what he or she needs from Walumbe. By the way, the Baganda Atanda call Walumbe Jajabulamu, literally meaning the king of life. Now from the legend of Chintuan Nambi, remember Gulu had children with him. Now one of them was Kaikuzi. Kaikuzi was the brother of Walumbe. He came down to earth to pick Walumbe and take him back to heaven. But Walumbe did not want to come along with him. So when a dream comes to you, when Jaja Kaikuzi wants something from you, or he wants you to come and appease him, you always have to come with this spear. His spear is differently shaped from the one of Walumbe. It looks like this. Now this spear, there are still also five fingers. It's also symbolic of the fact that he was, uh, when he was chasing uh, Walumbe, wanting to take him back to heaven. Remember, Walumbe was digging holes to hide from him. Now this that you see here is a caption, 
is um, symbolic of when he was trying to grab onto Walumbe to take him back to heaven. So this is the kind of spear you bring if it is Kaikozi who gave you the dream. Because what happens is when you get the dream, you come to the main priest or the person they call Omusao. You speak to him and then he lets you know which of the gods needs you to appease him. <laughs> This is where the spirit of Jaja Mwanga resides and he was and is still a royal ancestor. He is the Prime Minister, what the Baganda call Katikiro of all spirits in the spiritual realm because Walumbe was and is still believed by traditional Baganda to be the king of all the spirits. This ancestor uses things that are of two heads, be it pots, spears or windpipes. With Jaja Mwanga, a traditional Mankala game or Mweso is used when evoking him to foretell a situation. It was made clear that this ancestor loved his local banana beer. That's why you see calabashes here used to serve him alcohol. Edda bajeja fe ba kuzisanga inga tuzino inga jemi kalabanda zinga tuza jeja fe muanga za kuzisanga agendo kula uba za kula chi za tambuli ramu. Emikala banda zenga tuza ba jeja fe abaso kwa abedda ira ne sawa ro jeja fe muanga za kula chi za cha kuzisa iranga jeja fe muanga uno ino yembuga ye iri nsu wa ye yamazi wano yembuga ye muanga kula chi muajja na saba izondeku awamu ne na mafumuge is the ancestor that the traditional Muslim Baganda ascribe to, Jaja Ndaula. When he demands for an offering, he requires fruits and sometimes honey or local banana beer. For the local brew, Mwengebigere, from the time the bananas called Mbide are cut, they are hung to ripen. The one who hangs them lays down on a bed that he has never shared with a woman until the local brew is squeezed out of these bananas. Then it would be served to Judge Jandaula. These are his spears. As you can see, there is ghee on all his items. Reason is, the Baganda believed this spirit infests people with jiggers and body rash. This is one of his calabashes where the local brew is put and it literally has rushes, which is symbolic. But the Baganda believed if you give this spirit what it needs, it comes down. For instance, fruits like jackfruit, avocado, and pineapples are used. The reason why pineapples were offered was to ask this ancestor to give them multiple eyes like those on a pineapple for them to see everything that befalls them. Some offer oranges to ask this ancestor to help them not to be belittled or forced to do anything by a wife, husband or boss at work or kuchungiwa. Passion fruits obutunda is offered to this ancestor by people so that their names can sell or business items what they call okutunda sugarcane is also offered so that one can climb levels in life just like you see the segments on the sugarcane all this a symbolism of what one needed or needs from the ancestor <laughs> Taja kukubia bitu tutu ilanga chovula baba sigomu zigo gunga gwe mugonze da wetu walo baba jaja femilembe jawe balu walange mvunza bako zisanga vizigo eh? okubanti pate mvunze hizo kati wano yomu zigo goye mpewezo okubanti okolachi leta wajaja andaula 
yeah, 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 yeah,